Welcome to the Writing One presentation on essay examinations. As you prepare for an essay exam, you want to first anticipate the types of questions that they might ask you. Um, that means you need to go back and be familiar with course material from throughout the semester and take a look at other exams or questions that you might have run into on a quiz. Um, maybe you would um, maybe you would want to look at uh, various assignments that you've done things that can tip you off to what's really important to that instructor that they might get an essay on an exam based on that information and then as you start to look at that essay um, on an exam um, you're there you're taking your test and you gotta get started but don't go so quickly that you miss key words so you want to read your exam questions very carefully and then you want to look for action words like analyze or compare or contrast things that are going to tell you specifically what you should do um, and um, be sure to look at some of the supplemental materials that I post it gets more in depth into uh, some of these strategies during your planning phase you want to first of all look over and make sure that you know how you're doing on time you want to make sure that you know how much time to spend on each essay question if you have more than one keep in mind that with the essay questions some of them are meant to be pretty simple and straightforward some of them may be more complex so look so look them over read them all over and see which one you know you're gonna to have to spend more time on if they're all worth about the same amount of points and they're all about the same complexity you might also want to look and see which one you know you're gonna to have to spend more time on because maybe you don't have as good of a grasp of material or uh, maybe it's just more complicated for you um, sometimes instructors will let you choose an essay on an exam so again make sure you look at those uh, to see which ones would be best for you to use then you're going to want to create an outline and a thesis before you even start writing you can do this pretty quickly but again this is going to help you you can kind of put it in small uh, write, writing off to the side so that the you know even the professor can see where you're going with this and this will help you uh, keep focused and make things pretty coherent and cohesive when you start writing the essay itself you want to go back and reread the directions again to make sure you understand whether the answer is centered around either restating class information or forming an analysis and argument etc and again we've already talked about those key action words but one of the biggest mistakes biggest mistakes students make when getting ready to start on an essay in an exam situation is they just kind of default to report mode and we've talked about this with our class already we don't want to just be satisfied with report mode if our instructor and our professor wants us to do more so go back make sure you know if you need to work a little harder and do some analysis form an argument make sure you know if you need to do that then as you're writing make sure you use transitions again that's not just for the sake of formality that's to help guide your reader remember that your professor is probably going to be reading quite a few essays in a very short amount of time and while obviously the professor is not lazy you want to guide the professor so the professor is more likely to see where you are putting your points and how you are relating one idea to the next so really focus on transitions and then also focus on evidence and um, one of the supplemental materials, uh, the video by Anna Mascara, um, has some really interesting uh, points on this. I'm making sure that you show off what you know. But this is really important. You want to show that you really do understand something from the class and you're able to express that. And again, do like a higher level of explanation with it where you're analyzing or you're arguing about it. Um, that shows that you've mastered the subject content. And also that shows that you prepared ahead of time and that you can recall essential knowledge from the course. While you're working, be sure to keep an eye on the clock. Uh, again, it's easy to get really involved in working on an essay and kind of lose track of time. So again, keep up a good pace and know when you need to be wrapping it up. Um, then as you're done, of course you want to go back and look it over. You also want to check on grammar and spelling, etc. Um, especially in early level classes a professor knows this won't be perfect but you still want to make an attempt and show that you tried and of course make sure that everything looks nice and neat um, because I can tell you as a professor who grades things when I have a really hard time reading something that makes me kind of wonder if there's not as much good content there is or should be I am someone who has very sloppy handwriting so I know how hard it is 
But again, make sure you do your best to be very legible so that the professor can read it and give you the best score. Information for this presentation came primarily from chapter 9 in the book How to Write Anything. Um, some material did come from a pocket style manual as well. Thanks everyone for watching.